there's a whole audience. It's all about our voice and the sound effects. And uh, the sons of thought this would be a great thing to adapt. You know, now they have, this is like left field thinking to, to adapt this crazy story that's not really visual. And in fact, when they decided to adapt it, they threw out the idea of even doing it in Dr. Seuss's style. Uh, they just wanted, they wanted, they needed some kind of a uh, bedrock or a, for, for creating a film in the style of what they wanted to do, in something new. And so, here's a model, a couple of model sheets um, for what would become Gerald McBoing Boing, which came out in 1950, it was produced in 1950, came out in 1950. And you can see already just from these that the, the design, this is really stylized stuff looks nothing like what they what we think of as cartoons that look even look like the Mr. Magoo's. And another thing is the backgrounds in this film. I'm going to show you the film, of course. Um, very, um, again, stylized, I don't want to overuse that word, but sparse, you know, great use of color and um, uh, to set mood. And uh, Another shot. This is actually from one of the sequels. They actually, uh, I'll get that in too. Um, but um, let's uh, let's take a look. Let's stop. I show a lot of films. So let's um, take a look at um, Jeremy Boingwine, and I'll tell you what happened after that. Where 